YouTube, who's ready for a giant battle? Oh man, I'm ready for a giant battle. It's time to kill Heinrich Kimmler and Helmut Gorst, who think quite well of themselves. To think that they could take on Albrecht and his army, along with the Fae and her army. The Fae's army is slightly damaged from a different battle, but it won't matter. Alright, so we got Albrecht, Fae, and then the reinforcements, which will be minimal. And then Helmut, let's take a look at what we're up against. Sternsman on the field. The Claw of Nagash is on the field, the Vargulf, the Chillgeist. Let's see, another Mortis engine. So there'll be two Mortis engines on the field. The Banshee, the Lord of Shadows, a couple of Vargeist. The Reavers are here as well. Konigstein Stalkers and the Feasters in the Dusk. We'll have to watch out. And there's a Black Coach. But look at the balance of power, folks. And I think the balance of power has it right here. Hey, you want to hear something cool? This is the first ever video that I'm recording with my new uh, MSI GTX 1080 Ti. Oh my goodness, this card is amazing. So I did some initial tests on it. I ran it through um, the Fire Strike and Time Spy benchmarks, and then I ran the Warhammer benchmark battle at 1440p on the Ultra preset. And uh, it's a 30% improvement over the... Uh, Founders Edition uh, 1080 that I was using previously, which is pretty awesome. And that's a 30% improvement, not just on the benchmarks, it's actually a 30% improvement to the FPS in Warhammer at 1440p, which means that my benchmark battle at Ultra 1440p is 124 frames per second, which is unbelievably awesome, which means that I'll be able to continue to bring you huge battles and stuff um, in this um, fantastic resolution and everything with smoother frame rates which is exciting and that was one of the reasons why I was very excited to pick it up but I'm kind of a tech junkie which is another reason why I wanted to pick it up definitely a tech junkie All right, I'm gonna leave some grail guardians we got the grail relic so we've got units to kind of help support leadership okay. we're gonna put her into one of those guardian units all right, so let's get these units grouped up. Because it's going to be hard to keep track of them otherwise. Uh, control one, throw her in there. Put these two in a group. Okay. So yeah, the new the new graphics card is working out great. I'm going to make a review of it, but I wanted to use it for a little while, and then I'll review it. Uh, probably the next review video that I put up, actually, is going to be on my laptop. I'm going to go use it for a week of recording while I'm out on the road uh, for business, and then I think that'll be the appropriate time to... Uh, it'll, it'll mean that I've gotten to use it once or twice out on the road. I've had experience with it at home, and I'll be able to give you a very proper review of it, and uh, hopefully let you all know what it's good for. I really like tech stuff, and I know some of you don't like me making those types of videos, but yeah, you're probably going to have to deal with it because I really like making those kind of videos. This is like my hobby, and I and I f have a lot of fun looking at different text. Oh, these Sternsmen, holy smokes. Look at the beating that these West Field trebuchets just put there. Probably about 40% of their health gone on the first shot. Let's see, where's my leadership core here? These uh, stupid reinforcements that I don't need, I'm just going to withdraw them so I can get better reinforcements onto the battlefield. This is probably another one of those units I'm going to withdraw it here too. So the vampire reinforcements are coming. Uh, I need to pause it and kind of get a handle. Alright, here's my own reinforcements. So I'm going to get... Grail Guardians together, along with the Enchantress and the Damsel. I'm going to start putting together groups over here. And let's get these Foot Squires into a group. And we'll make this easier by putting them in a group. Withdrawing, okay. Let's hit play for a minute. The vampires are approaching, so we're gonna get into combat here sooner rather than later, which is fine with me. There's some blood knights that want a piece of me. 
I'm gonna actually hold one unit of these knights back to try and take out the Devils of Swartzhofen. And I'm gonna combine the questing knights. Ooh, let's pause it here just real quick, actually, because I have a good opportunity. Let's get a regrowth on uh, this Grail Knight before it loses too many unit models. Okay. All right, my flying squad, let's go ahead and group them up. I'm gonna need that over here. These Sternsmen have gotten just absolutely shracked. And then these uh, Devils of Swartzhofen got ruined and the Blood Knights are retreating. Okay, group one. Let's go ahead and attack. Let's keep our lady back just a bit. Let's fall back just a little bit on this flank. And pick some targets. Alright, I'm going to pause it again because i got a ton of crap going on. It's hard group the Fey. Bring her up. Let's get another group of... Oh, I don't know. Some of these need to go back to group one. There we go. Let's put this guy into group seven. Okay. Sorry. These big battles, I have to uh, actually work really hard just to try and keep track of everything. So let's get group eight. Swing over here for some rear charges. Let's again just fall back to protect this flank. Let's attack the Vargeist in the air. Let's get some arcane conduit going. Get some magic flowing. Okay, we've crushed this flank, and it's going to be time to move on into the Mortis engine. I'm going to ignore these Blood Knights. There's very little of them even left. Uh, these Vargeist are trying to get to my trebuchet. Let's go protect them. The Vargeist that were in the air got wrecked. See a good opportunity there for some uh, Doom Flock. Let's use the lady's special ability and start dropping spells everywhere. Okay. Get our other damsel. It's a great place for some healing over there. Okay, where's the lady? Group 7. Let's take these Grail Knights. Our damsel over here needs some help. Okay, let's give her help. Okay, yeah, our damsel is getting beat down pretty hard, but we just got a whole lot of help in for it. Let's turn this flying squad around. This flank is getting wrapped up hard over here. Vampires dying in droves. The rear charge from the Pegasus Knights. Let's get that group, group uh, eight, and let's destroy this corpse cart real quick. There's a Mortis Engine right here that honestly probably needs more attention than the Corpse Guard, so let's give that attention to the Mortis Engine. Let's get all these units up here. So it looks like we were able to uh, save our Damsel, though it's going to be pretty close. Get some Earth Blood there and help her out. She is fairly close to death. Okay, let's get our group eight, which is our flying group again. We've just about downed the Mortis engine. Okay, Mortis engine down. Let's go after Helmut Gorst. And Gorst is a very small target. <laughs> He's gonna get knocked around a lot. A whole heck of a lot. All right, let's go after this uh, Lord Shadow's character. I never even brought up all the rest of my units. We just beat the snot out of the vampires. I've got a Banshee and the Black Coach and some other infantry units moving up. There's another Blood Knight back here as well. Okay, so the corpse cart's almost dead. Helmet Gorst. Look at Gorst. 
Yeah, that guy's definitely uh, bird meat at this point. The dire pack's gonna move in. Let's concentrate everything on them. Let's get my group eight up again. And maybe just go focus out the black coach real quick because it's a large target and should drop pretty quick. My group one is all messed up. Let's pull up a big run of foot squires. Another line of cavalry. Two, three. All right, my flying squad needs to get out of here. We're getting attacked by a, a pretty large number of blood knights. So let's get to the air. Okay, my field trebuchets are lobbing a lot of pain into here. Let's get all of my uh, Grail Knights. Come attack. Uh, let's get these Black Knights real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe get in here and attack. I don't have a lot of magic right now. Doom flock in here. Try and prop up. Let's bring in more reinforcements. I know it's kind of a big blob right now, but let's just make it happen. We need all of our reinforcements up here. Albrick. Alright. We should crumble all the vampires at this point. Yeah, you can see their magic falling apart in a big hindry. They're disintegrating. So that's gonna be the end of the vampires and a decisive victory. It didn't come without damage, but we definitely survived it well. What you all think about those field trebuchets taking down the Sternsmen? It's pretty impressive. The armies of the Enchantress, the flying, uh, flying Doom Squad, basically, is what they are at this point. So absolutely wrecked the vampire armies, picked up the Sword of Bloodshed. Gained leadership on fighting the undead. So we are in uh, very good shape versus the undead at this point. So the Enchantress, let's take her out of the Forced March stance. And let's go ahead and wipe out these uh, vampire stacks. Control. Gold Seagull Sword. Should be able to wipe out this last vampire army there too. So reduction in vampiric corruption, that's kinda nice. Alright. Let's force March back into our own territory. Put her back in Grunberg to retrain. No one lost any units, so we killed both vampire armies without the loss of a single unit. I'm allowing Marienburg to be sieged, and remember that um, the king is out on a quest. So Lewin is headed up here to fight the uh, Wars of Errantry in the Chaos Waste. And I have his damsel headed up here. Is it the Ice Tooth Mountains ready to go? No, it's Vanaheim Mountains where we gotta deploy. So we gotta get her up there and deploy and then we'll try and rejoin his army. So we have a little bit of money, but um, let's yes. save it. Everybody has level up, so we're at level 29 with the Fey Enchantress. Premonition, Arcane Conduit. Yeah, Secrets of the Grail is no good. Chance of intercepting armies in the underway. An ambush chance, again, or defense against an ambush. Reinforcement range. Tenth share, bonded service. So let's take the recruitment cost all the way down more. And then maybe just some extra control, I guess. And then the Spell Winch, the Unpleasant, hits level 25. Let's just uh, finish the cooldowns on some of her spells. And then we've got Sir Patchy here, Lord of Peasants. He is the Lord of Peasants indeed. Finish Blade Shield. So he's got some pretty sturdy statistics there. Okay, and let's take a look at the other army. This damsel levels up here. Let's um, 
Let's grab a uh, power drain, which is going to give us more winds of magic. Okay. I think we're ready. It's in the turn. Boy, it's going to take me forever to get to the Wars of Aaron Tree battle. We need to push into vampire territory. Since I don't have a whole lot of other enemies other than like Varg or Scaling, I might just take like one of my armies from the Lady and just like push into vampire territory and see what we can do. And then leave one to kind of protect other lands. Okay, so there's some vampire agents trying to mess with us here. Maybe let's go try and uh, tear down work bad. Albrecht is still uh, replenishing, but if we take the Fey, if we move, I think, less than half, we can still go into an encampment. Yeah, and there we go. We can kind of heal on our way over to Wurtbad. Marienburg looks like maybe it got sacked. Yeah, it got sacked. They didn't destroy it. That's kind of annoying. All right. Lewin, well, you got the long road home, buddy. Alright, she's still moving where she's supposed to be. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe throw some extra defenses here. I think we could defend Coron relatively well. It would be a custom battle map as well, which should favor us. Let's just kind of take a look at our options here. Bordelo. I've built up most of my economic buildings, except for maybe in the Reichland. There we go. Let's spend some of this money in the Reichland. We're going to need it. INS. Uh, none of these buildings are actually super handy to me right now, but whatever. Spend a little bit on it. Alright, there goes the Damsel, and then Lewin sailing. He has got a heck of a long way to go. I don't know how many turns, but... Probably at least 10 or 12 turns before he even gets to the Wars of Errantry. But that's okay, because that's the end of the campaign. And it gives us some time to do some damage to the vampires, which will be fun. Come on, destroy Marienburg already. Can't seem to get those guys to just take the bait and do it for me. Ambusher discover. Assassinate success. Block army success. I'm not sure I like that. Um, control. Yeah, we'll pay the tribute. So who got assassinated? Assassinate. Success. Rosalind the Grave. Uh, has wounded Sir Patchy. Oh, you're, you're lucky that was wounded, you piece of... Oh. Yeah, you just about angered me beyond belief. Going after Patchy. Like Patchy's ever done anything bad to anybody. Look at this. The vampire's already raised up this army here. Holy Vargulf. I hear the winds. Yeah, we should still be able to do quite well, even Don't without Sir Patchy. Less. That is a seriously stacked army, though, but it'll be fun. Let's we'll see what we can do. Alright, so Albrick. I don't know what these armies are going to do. We'll keep an eye out on them. Let's go ahead and end another turn real quick. You know, we could call the Green Knight in to serve uh, in the absence of Sir Patchy. The vampires want a peace treaty, which is the perfect time to reject it. Alright, that Banshee went off to chase Varg, and the other one's pulling back. Oh, there's a Necromancer nearby. You ended your trade agreement? Why, you idiots? Oh, you're so stupid. All right, well, I'm going to have to try and convince those idiots to trade with me again because I was making pretty good money off them. Yeah, it took away like half my income. You stupid elves, what are you going to do? Shield the Breton dogs your steps, Bretonian. Can you not see him? They're strength rank one, really? The elves are strength rank one. Payment, offer payment. 
Offer him whatever I got. No? What a bunch of crotches. How annoying is that? Well, I may take peace with the vampires and come back here and face stomp the elves into uh, understanding that what they've done is completely moronic in every way. I mean, we have a defensive alliance. Why would you end a trade agreement? What about a bunt? Dang, butt munches. They're just being big because they're supposedly strength rank one because they have several armies, and it, it gives the elves strength ratings that they don't deserve a lot. So, whatever. I've got my eye on you, you filth. Alright, we're going to call the Green Knight in. Hopefully we can get him into combat. Oh, Lewin's on land now, so we need to, we're need we going to have to move him in an encamp stance. Banshee's going to try another block or assassination. We'll keep an eye on the elves. If they start to break more treaties with me, then we'll preemptively handle them. So they got a block army on me over here. Melee attack for infantry units. Leadership for infantry and defense. Let's uh, take the hidden statue. I protect Bretonia, as you say. So we're gonna barely be able to move because of that idiot banshee. Traveling the land, if you wish. Let's see how well we could. Uh, we don't even have a chance of assassination with even the Green Knight. Who calls what a joke. Hooks? You'd think the Green Knight would be good for something since he's that high a level. Let's see what we can do. No. I don't generally have a lot of good luck with that type of thing. I'm gonna move up and uh, roll into some ambush stance. Pegasus, Lady's Mantle. Let's go ahead and give him the missile resistance. It's not a bad trait to have when you're on a paladin, or when you're on a uh, Pegasus. The lady. the lady calls. Your plan is a good one. Yeah, it's gonna take um, Lewin forever to get through because of all the attrition. It's gonna be almost maddening. I serve the lady. High mountains. We should be able to deploy. And that will give me the next step in the Chalice of Potions. Okay. Let's see what happens. Those seeking my counsel. Okay, the elves are going to turn on me. It's quite obvious at this point. They're ending all their alliances. They mean to betray me. The problem with the elves is that they can get around quite quickly. The Fae of Enchantress allows herself a brief fleeting moment to relief. Let's see, what does this say? And the two most difficult rich... Or hang on. Two of the three rituals are accomplished and the two most difficult. The third is simple, great final evocation along with the placement of the chalice at the Grand Chapel of Coron, with its completion. All three locations are in synchronicity, and the ritual begins in earnest. Before long, the change becomes apparent. The winds of magic shift and grow, becoming powerful enough to be observed. Howling just beyond hearing, they cannot be heard, but can be perceived. The chalice of potion glows with a brighter aura, and all those who see its power, the Fey Enchantress wonders if this would be enough. Move any character to the following region, Coron. Okay, so we gotta put a character in Coron. King of Bretonia. Very well. I think that actually, like, I'm gonna kinda alternate turns, like just kinda force marching this this army up to here. And then we'll go into a encampment stance to replenish after a couple of turns of covering some ground. I wonder if the vampires will make peace with me still. Let's take a look and see. 
Speak they will. Words. Let's, um... To little gods that they ring true. Let's see if we can wrestle out of these guys. Alright, so we'll take a bunch of money from them. And give them peace. And then that will allow us... We could actually trade with the vampire Mortals, counts if they were open to it. We'd make a ton of money off of them. I wonder if we can offer them their money back to trade with them. But sometimes these people just like won't trade with you no matter what, what you offer them. No. That's unfortunate, man. We'd make a ton of money trading with the vampires. Stupid wood elves. So stupid. Alright, well let's get out of the vampire land since we have made peace with the undead momentarily. I've probably wasted another green knight turn here. We gotta move a character to Coron. So let's let's do it with the uh, with Albrick. So we'll start moving Albrick that way. The elves are going to be problematic because they can just split up and get like all over my lands in a big hurry. So we'd have to get in quickly and tear down some of their settlements. Let's end another turn. We'll just hang on to some of that money we exhorted or er, uh, extorted. Hang on extorted, yeah, out of the hands of the vampires that make him in handy. Scaling or moving more troops down. We need to take our lady back over to rejoin Lewin. Ambusher discover. Patchy. Okay, so Patchy is back. What is your behest? Grant me your gifts, Let's my lady. Get the spell winch back yes. in here. And I'm going to take the Fey down. This way, and I'll bring Patchy with her. And let's keep moving towards Coron. Let's do one more turn of Force March, because I'm not too worried about running into super powerful armies this far out. And we don't take near as much attrition because of some of the research we've done. I have seen your and let's try and catch up with Lewin. Let's start moving her that direction. I don't know if she can catch up, but we'll try because she would be useful to have. Just end a turn and see what happens. Freaking wood elves. So annoying. If they think I won't burn their little magic forest, then they are highly mistaken. We need to get um, Varg and Scaling off my case. It'd be great if we could force a surrender out of those losers, but it's not likely. Not unless I've given them a much bigger beatdown. So we have a character in Coron. We can now actually win a battle for the Chalice of Potions. And obtain the Chalice of Potions. Which will be pretty cool. You seek the lady. Let's transport Enjoy into the battle. Us. Assuming it allows us. Yes, yes we can. Maybe a battle against the Norsicans, huh? So let's fight the battle for the Chalice. Obtain it. Berg Breaker? More like Turd Breaker. It is a great deed we must do today. The twisted things of chaos have come to our shores in vast numbers. Many were dashed upon the rocks. Yet enough remain to pose a terrible threat. Malice seeps from their every pore and breath. They are the very essence of doom. Should they win this day, Britannia will be naught but ruins. But hope endures. Take solace in the lady's shining grace for victory. 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to have some fun here. In fact, we're going to have a lot of fun, I think. Let's kind of fall back to this defensible position here. Okay. Okay, let's get uh, the Green Knight, and we're going to have some fun with him, because I don't think there's any magical damage units that are going to be present. So we're going to have a little fun. Let's put these units... Okay. Okay, let's take the Green Knight and see if we can create a blob. Because Chaos Marauders, I mean, he can beat on them all day long. I'm gonna kill these Chaos Trolls real quick. I was hoping that the Green Knight, yeah, we can get a blob going. I think we'll kill the Chaos Trolls in one combined charge here, and then we'll get away from the infantry. Ooh, we got some Warhounds heading behind us. Pull one unit back here. Right, so the Chaos Trolls are dropping. Green Knights racking up kills. Let's have some fun with the Green Knights. Okay. Drop a doom flock there real quick. There we go. Let's get away from those units. Oh yeah. Give me that comet. Oh, no, no, wait, we don't get it till after this battle. That's unfortunate. All right, should be getting a ton of kills over in that blob. And we're gonna wrap up all these infantry units here. I'm just almost like toying with these guys right now because I can. Look at the Green Knight, he's got 43 kills. Okay, let's get our air forces reset. Get the Green Knight set for another round. All these uh, Chaos Marauders are like trapped up against the rocks. Grail Guardians. Yeah, let's come in here and chase these guys down too. Ooh. Got some questing knights caught out. Let's bring them back this way. Come on, get back this way. Let's take these guys out real quick. Mop up some of these routers. Okay, so we took out the... Alright, yeah, I'm just kind of having fun, like, wrapping these guys up at my own leisure here. Let's take the Enchantress and take out the uh, enemy Lord. Wouldn't normally want to go head-to-head -head with a melee Lord like this, but I think the Enchantress can handle him. Don't I have Mist of the Lady? Yeah, we do. Let's use the Green Knight to kind of clog things up here. Come around and charge from behind. Surround with cavalry. Okay. Let's bring the lady over.
All right. We're going to surround and destroy all the remaining units over here. Throw down some healing. Doom flock. Yeah. Pretty sure we got these guys on the run. We still have a huge amount of magic reserves. There's still 117 magic reserves. I have so much magic reserve, it's actually like just difficult to even call on it all. It's gonna regroup. Actually, let's take this guy out. Green Knight. Let's bring the Green Knight out to get another big blob fight just for fun. He's got 56 kills. Let's see how many we can add to that. He's gonna be al almost indestructible to the uh, enemy troops here. Let's get group four. We've routed the enemy lord. Catch these marauder horsemen. All right, we're gonna take the green knight straight into combat. Guys, 92. I should be able to catch him. I wonder if the Green Knight can single handedly, like, break through all these guys if I heal him. I'll just take out the Marauder Horseman. And let's see how much the Green Knight can tank with the healing. He's taking some damage for sure. See, he's got 59 kills, but he's completely destroyed Ivar Redeye. Who's the enemy lord there? Let's start taking out some of their infantry. All right, we routed those bad guys there. Put a regrowth down on the uh, on the Green Knight, so he's gonna be healing. Check him out. Is that all you got? <laughs> Green Knight looks awesome. Some people say they don't like the way he looks. I don't know. He looks pretty cool. Giant blobs of non-magical damage infantry, no problem. Eighty-one kills. Chaos Marauders. What a joke. Let's, uh, let's honestly, I'm just gonna let the Green Knight tank it out. I'm gonna fast forward and just see how much he can kill. He's exhausted. He's not done healing yet, either. Here we go. Bring the lady over here. He's up to 115 kills. Let's let's push it. Hey, if we called the Green Knight, we're gonna make this worth our while. Kill that wiener. I think that's two lords that the uh, enchantress killed in this battle. Let's have some fun here. So regrowth. Yep, the Green Knight bested them all. Got 173 kills. Yep, so if you don't have magic damage, don't expect to kill the Green Knight easily. So there you go. At least we got some, uh, got some kills for the Green Knight to make his appearance worthwhile. Help the lady obtain her chalice of potions so she can now drop giant comets on people. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'll be back with more videos in the near future. Air of Carthage, signing out.